Welcome back guys. Today we are going to cover the settings that we need to change on your YouTube page so that your channel is fully optimized. We are going to get into the gear list in the next video. I'm going to break it up into four different categories, the no budget, low budget, mid budget, and trust fund babies. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into your YouTube channel and let's change very important settings. All right, the very first thing that we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your YouTube channel. You're going to want to click on your profile, pick right here, and then scroll down to YouTube Studio. Once you are in the YouTube Studio, you're going to click on Settings. Now, there's only a few settings here that we're going to change. You're not going to be changing anything beyond upload defaults. Permissions, I will make a different video about that. Permissions is if you allow someone else to be a manager to manage your page to upload. If you hire someone from Fiverr or Upwork, but we're not going to change that right now. So right now we're only gonna be working with these three right here. Under general, you're gonna pick your proper currency. So if I pick Turkish Lira, YouTube's not gonna pay me in Lira. They're gonna pay me in US dollars. So pick the currency for your country, wherever you are. Channel, these are your channel tags. Now in order to get your channel tags, there's a few different things. You can go to VFly right here and you can look up hashtag generator and VFly will give you the proper hashtags. The other thing that you can do is you can go to ChatGPT and let's say you typed in, here are some effective hashtags for a car niche channel. Well, they're gonna give you the best ones for your channel. And then once you have these, you wanna highlight them, ask ChatGPT to remove the hashtag, separate them by commas, like I did right here. You're gonna copy that and then you're gonna transfer it over and you're gonna place them right here. You're only gonna change these once. Once you change this, that's it. You never touch this ever again. What's your country of residence? I live in the US. If you live in France, Tunisia, Ukraine, UAE, United Kingdom, pick your country. The next setting is advanced. Now, who's your audience for? If you are making content specifically for children, then go ahead and click, yes, this channel is for kids. Outside of cartoons, Miss Rachel, and stuff like that, Blue's Clues, you're not making content for kids, so go ahead and click no. You're gonna scroll down right here. I will make another video later on about how to link your YouTube channel to a Google Ads account. I'm gonna make a whole video about Google Ads, but that's where this would go. And then you're gonna scroll down, allow viewers to clip my content. So they can take your long form content, turn it into a short form content like a YouTube Reel and share it on their channel, which is good for you, free marketing. Feature eligibility, you wanna go through all these. Essentially, you wanna check this, go down here. You want to verify your telephone number. Down here, you're gonna do this through email. You're going to verify who you are by sending them and them being YouTube. Send them a driver's license, picture of your passport, whatnot. The next one is upload defaults. If you're doing shorts, you want to make sure that there's always shorts like this at the end of your title. And then down here, what I recommend doing is the very first thing that you should post here in the description is a link to another video on your channel. As people are going vertically on their phone, there's not enough room for them to see a lot. But if you post a link right there, it's on the very first line. So even in the shorts feed, they can click on that link and go to another video. So always put a link right here to another video on your channel. So you're keeping people in the loop on your channel and that's what YouTube wants. That's what's going to drive the algorithm to start promoting your content on suggested videos and the browser feed. Go down here, the next one is visibility. I recommend always leaving this on unlisted to give yourself a secondary opportunity to go over your video in all of the settings before you actually go live. I set these to what I want and then I just leave them. But if you are talking about finance, for instance, then you're gonna wanna change these per video. Maybe you're talking about credit cards, maybe you're talking about index funds. If you're in the beauty niche, maybe you're talking specifically about a product like Oliveda, like my sister, Skin Deep with Sonia Tori. You might wanna put Oliveda down here. So these are the individual video tags, whereas these are the channel tags. Channel tags, you're never gonna change video tags you may change depending on which video because you wanna be specific to what the content is. Advanced settings, we're gonna scroll up. Creative Commons, I leave that there. How-to style, categories don't really matter, but I leave how-to style because that's the broadest category, that entertainment and I think travel. But if you're making a beauty vlog content, 
Now you wanna do how to and style. You don't wanna do auto, you don't wanna do comedy, unless, I don't know, maybe you're a funny beauty vlogger. How to and style pretty much covers everything. English, unless you're in a different country, caption certification, unless you have a certification saying this is closed captions, just leave that as none because YouTube will put subtitles on your video anyway. How do you wanna moderate the comments? If you don't want any moderation, go ahead and click none. I click on basic. But if you wanna hold all comments, which I've done on a different channel because it was political, I would hold all contents or hold all comments, review them first, make sure they're appropriate and then post them. Monetization, once your channel's monetized, we're gonna make a video about that. I will show you how to place the ads on your channel. Now, if you do nothing, YouTube's gonna set the ads based off whatever they think is best, but any video that's eight minutes or longer, you can actually control where you want the ads to be set and pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll, we'll cover that in a different video. Beyond that, that is it. You don't have to worry about any of these other settings right now, your channel is optimized. Go ahead and save your settings, go back to your dashboard or your content if you have content and then that's it. Your channel now is now optimized. Your channel is ready to start receiving content. As you build your channel with your content, the algorithm knows where to drive your traffic. Now remember, quality, and consistency or queen, storytelling, the hook, if you wanna call it that, is God. If you master the art of storytelling and you master the packaging, which is the thumbnails, the title, the title and the thumbnail are the most important, I would say. Master those two and then be consistent and patient. YouTube's gonna reward you very handsomely. But if you're looking to get rich quick, YouTube's not the place for you. YouTube is a long-term journey, it is a career, you are building a foundation that is going to pay you in spades and continue to pay you well after your video was posted. So you may post a video now and still get paid on that video 10 years from now. So the reason I have all these videos and I post shorts is because when I my audience comes to my channel, I want them to have a plethora of content to go through. I ensure that every single video like this is packed full of value, hopefully, and I can teach people, they can learn something, they can leave feeling like they gained something they didn't have before. Your channel's fully optimized. In the next video, we're going to cover all the gear. Again, no budget, low budget, mid budget, and trust fund babies. Go ahead and watch this video right here. I cover all the jobs on a film set and what they do. And then go ahead and watch this video right here. And I cover the sound quality between the DJI Mic 2 and the Hollyland Lark M2s. And with that, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next lesson.